you were tall, I looked up. Hey fams, welcome back to another episode of Push Tuesdays. Pray until something happens. I just want to thank you all so much for all your wonderful support on last week's episode of Push Tuesdays. It was our first episode and I found that we, we did very well. I am also so excited to know that it is reaching you and it is touching you in so many different ways and I am so grateful for all the wonderful and amazing feedbacks. Thank you so much for your encouragement. Sometimes something like this can be extremely scary and nerve-wracking to enter into but thank you all so much for your support, your love and encouragement and all your wonderful feedbacks that lets me know that we are all in this together. I just want to encourage you all to keep pushing through, keep praying and keep trusting in God and that no matter what it is that you are facing today, just know and believe that God is with you and that He has got you. Thank you so much for visiting with my channel today. I pray that you will subscribe to us and join our family here on YouTube. We do a lot of decorating and DIYs, cleaning videos, mommy videos, and also faith-filled videos. On my channel, you will find some encouraging, wonderful family members. You are my fans, and I really, really do appreciate you. I thank you for going out of your way all the time to make sure that I'm good and to always encourage me. You are absolutely incredible. So today we are going to talk about healing. I feel like it's a perfect time to talk about healing. There's a lot of us that is going through, um, you know, things in our lives right now that requires healing. Physical healing, emotional healing, spiritual healing, and mental healing. Today I want to talk about physical healing, and this will be a four-part series prayer. I'm going to talk about physical healing today because I feel like so many times we can take care of everyone else and not take care of our own selves. And because of that, our bodies start to speak to us in so many different ways. We start to get headaches and body aches and ear aches and all types of, you know, aches and things that goes through our bodies. Also, family members that could be going through some, heat, some health issues right now. And I just want to encourage you that God is still a healer and He cares about you. He really, really does care about you. And all we have to do today is just ask for Him to be in the midst and it is done. So let's get situated, let's get comfortable, and let's pray. Father God, we just thank you this morning, Lord. We thank you because you are awesome, you are incredible, Lord God, you are amazing. Father, we know that you are the healer. You are our judge, you are our lawyer, and you are our juror. We place every single organ in your hands. We place our minds, our bodies, our spirit in your hands, Father God. And we ask that today, Lord, that you would touch us from the crowns of our heads to the soles of our feet, Lord God. Father God, we depend on you and we trust in you, Lord. And we know that our lives are in your hands, so we need not worry, God. But Father God, I pray that you would touch every viewer that is under the sound of my voice today. And I pray that if, they're, if they are going through anything in their bodies, being sick, or their family members or friends are going through anything, Lord God, I pray that you touch their bodies right now and heal them, Lord God. For your word says in Isaiah that you were wounded for our transgressions and bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon you, and by your stripes we are healed. And so we stand on your word today, God, because we know that you are able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we can ever ask or think. Lord, I pray that you will go out into the airways right now. Touch anyone or everyone, God. Father God, that is experiencing some type of ailment, some type of sickness, some type of disease, whatever it is, Father God, and let them know, Lord God, that they don't have to succ succumb to it, Lord, because you did not give us sickness. You did not give us ailments. You did not give us diseases, Lord God. Father, your word said that you come that we may have life and have life more abundantly, God. 
And so we stand on your word, Lord God, that we will have life, that we shall live and not die, God, that we shall have life, Lord Jesus, oh God, every single day that we get up, that we shall live, Lord God, and that we shall have life. And so, Father, we come against any sickness, any disease, any ailments right now, Lord God. And we bind it up in the name of Jesus, Lord. Father God, with the authority that you have given us, Lord God, we take those sickness, Lord God, and we pull them down in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Father God, we pray that right now, Lord, that your Holy Spirit, God, will rise up, Lord Jesus, oh God, and overtake us, Lord, and fill our bodies, Lord God, with your Spirit, Lord God. Fill our bodies, Lord, with your power, Lord God. Fill our bodies, Lord God, with your healing, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, from the crown of our heads, Father God, to the very soles of our feet, Lord God. Father, we, we stomp on the devil's head, Lord God, because he has no power, no authority, Lord God. You have given us that power and that authority to trample on the devil and his scorpions, Lord Jesus, oh God. And your word said that there shall be nothing, Lord God, absolutely nothing, God, that will ever be able to separate us from you, Lord Jesus, oh God. Not not sickness, not diseases, Lord God, nothing, Lord Jesus, oh God. And so we stand on your word today, Father God, knowing that we can walk in our healing, Lord God, because it is the gift that you have given us, Lord God, that we shall be healed, that we shall be well, Lord God, Father God, that we shall be whole, that we shall be restored in our bodies, Lord God. And so we stand on your word today, Father, and we thank you, Lord God, for your word today. We thank you, Father God, that you sent your son, that he will, that he shall shall die, Lord God, and now that he lives, Lord, and because he lives, Lord, we live, Lord Jesus, oh God, and so we thank you, Lord Jesus, oh God, we thank you for the healing power, we thank you right now, Lord God, that as Jesus is sitting on the right hand of you, Father God, that we are sitting right where you are, Lord God, in the, on your throne, Lord Jesus, and Father, that you are touching us, Lord God, even now, Lord God, that, and that you are causing us, Lord, to rise up and to take our rightful place in health, Lord Jesus. Jesus, oh God. So Father, we just thank you this morning. We praise you this morning. We glorify you, God. You are awesome. You are incredible, Lord God. You are mighty, Lord God. You are the Jehovah Jireh, Lord God. You are Jehovah Rapha, Lord God. Father, you are the healer, Lord Jesus. And we thank you, Lord God, that we can walk it out, Lord God. That we can speak it and that we can believe it and that we shall receive what we say, Lord God. Father God, we look to you for you are the author and the finisher of our faith, Lord God. And Lord, we know that now, right now, Lord God, that we are walking, Lord God, circumspectly, Lord God, that we are walking, Lord God, in wholeness, Lord Jesus. And Father God, that sickness has no rule over us, Lord God, that death has no rule over us, that diseases has no rule over us, Lord God, because we are alive in you, God, and that we are well, Lord. And I declare it and I decree it in the name of Jesus, Father God, that we are well and that we are whole and that we are healed in our bodies. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. Father, we thank you, Lord, and we praise you, Lord, for this moment and this time, Lord God. Father God, that everybody, Lord, that is under the sound of my voice, that they will begin to receive their healing even now, Lord God. We believe it, Lord God, and therefore we speak, Lord. So we receive it right now in the name of Jesus. And that your blood, Lord God, that you have shed for us on the cross, Lord God, that it covers us, Lord, from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet, Lord God, and that we are walking it out. We are walking out in this life. We are walking it out, Lord God. Your promises that you have for us, we are walking it out, Lord God, and we're becoming who you have called us to be, Lord God, and that sickness will not take us out, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord. We declare it, we decree it, and we receive it in the name of Jesus, Lord God. So we thank you right now, we praise you right now, and we give you all the glory and all the honor and all the praise, Lord God. Father, you are absolutely incredible. You are awesome. You are mighty, Lord God. And Father, we just thank you for your love, God. We thank you for your gift that keeps on giving, Lord God, with, which is your son, Christ Jesus. So we praise you today, Lord. We praise you that we are healed, God, and we will no more speak of sickness, Lord. We praise you that we are whole, Lord God, and we will no more speak of incompleteness, Lord God. We praise you that we are completely and totally restored in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. 
Amen. So if you pray that prayer with me today, wow, just know that you are healed. If you believe what you prayed, get up and walk it out right now. Just know that you are completely and totally healed and restored by the blood of the Lamb. I want to invite you that if you have not yet received Christ as your personal Savior, that you have the perfect opportunity to do so. If you would like to do so, you can repeat this prayer after me. Father, I thank you. I thank you for this opportunity that you have made, Lord, that I can get to know you. Father, I know that you have created me, and I may have not been or have not done what I am supposed to do, but Lord God, I am ready to give myself to you right now. I repent of all my sins, Lord God, and I ask that you please forgive me. Lord, I know that you are God of the universe. I know that you have died and you have rose again on the third day and that you right now are living on the seat of the right hand of the Father, Lord God. Father God, I believe, Lord Jesus, that you are the Son of God, and I praise you and will praise you all the days of my life. Father, I invite you into my life and ask that you overtake me with your spirit. I ask that you lead me and guide me with this walk, this journey that I'm about to embark on, Lord God, because I need your help. I cannot do this life alone, and I dare not try to, Lord God. Father, I believe that I receive your spirit today, and I ask that you come into me, sup with me, dine with me, live in me, God. Father, I thank you right now that I am saved. I give you glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. If you have prayed that prayer with me, you are now saved, and you are now a part of the family of Jesus Christ. Welcome and congratulations. I am so excited, so, so excited that you have decided to make that choice today. If you need help, any resources, please contact me through my email at shoshanabones at gmail.com and I will do my best to get you all the scriptures that you may need, anything that you're struggling with, I will definitely do my best to get you the information on that. Also, leave a comment down below and let me know if you've received Christ today. If you have received Christ today, I just want to welcome you into the family of God and I just want to thank you for trusting God with your life. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to go ahead and do so. Leave a comment down below and let me know how you are loving this new series and how has it transformed your life so far. If you have any prayer requests, please leave them down below in the comment section and I will definitely, definitely pray over them and we will pray with them together. Thank you so much for joining me on today's Push Tuesdays. I look forward to seeing you in next week's episode when we pray about mental healing. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye guys.